Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPST. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will in any ways. Absolutely monster move today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. The first area of support is what I would call the ideal area. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up there above $1.48. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $1.48, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can somehow manage to stay above $1.48, that would definitely be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be that previous breakout point, and that sits down there at $1.40. So near term, $1.48, $1.40. Taking a step back and looking at things from the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to gauge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the price is in full health. The bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented by it. Now again, if it could stay above $1.48, that would be great. But from the grand scheme of things perspective, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls are 100% in control of the chart. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, I'm not even gonna touch on any of those because in my opinion, as it stands right now, breaking levels of resistance, not a huge priority. Top priority by far is just going through some healthy consolidations now and just build you know, our, our, the overall trend. And the way you build the overall trend is build those higher lows. As long as higher lows are being put into place, everything else will take care of itself, which includes breaking areas of resistance. So no doubt about it, very nice mood today. So let's see if the bulls can continue to build upon this momentum or not. Or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.